Hi, my name's Tony, and this is my life in San Diego. Oh, look at this, I'm in my car again. <laughs> I guess that's sort of the nature of living in California is we drive everywhere. Um, I liked uh, I liked watching Breaking NYC, and uh, you know, Ray's always like walking somewhere. And uh, unfortunately, walking somewhere in California is not the best way to go about doing business because everything's so far away. So even like if I were to go to my buddy's sub shop, like I've done once before, that's still that's a half mile. I mean, it's not far. A half mile's not very far. But it's still a half mile from my house there. It's not like it's two blocks down. I'm heading over to two places. One, I gotta go to the post office because that uh, toll bridge that I went through up in San, the Bay Area, San Francisco, uh, the $4 toll, it turned into a $29 evasion charge plus tolls. $25 evasion charge, $4 toll. So. I gotta go put that in the mail because I tried paying it online today, but it's like we don't recognize your zip code. It's like what? It's, it's California. Anyway, so now I gotta send a check in the mail, and it's due in a couple of days. I have a super secret project today. It involves whatever that sound is, and I'm heading to a place in Oceanside to get some work done on whatever that sound is, and I can't tell you yet. I'll tell you what it is later on, but it's a birthday present. This all stuff is new though, like that church, it always used to be there. Oh, that's where I took uh, that church, that church back there, that's where I took Kristen. Uh, she wanted to learn how, how to, uh, how, what the hell she wanted to, oh, she wanted to learn how to race basically. Um, and how to you know drop the clutch and, and get a good hole shot, and uh, we were there in her red hatchback, and uh, and so we drove over there, and she was just learning how to drive a stick, and uh, we get over there, and so we switch seats, and uh, you know I show her how I do it, and uh, you know burn the tires three or four times, and we. I stop, we switch seats, and this guy drives over, just all, just old man drives over, he's all mad as hell, and, uh, and, and he's like, what are you doing? This is private property, blah, blah, blah. And I said, oh, well, I'm, I'm teaching how to drive a stick. Lie, on a church property, look at me. And he's like, well, you need to, you shouldn't do that here, you need to leave. I'm like, all right, fine, we'll leave. And so I said, let's go. And then, because Kristen was still driving. And then uh, he's all, uh, don't you think you should drive? I look at him like, yeah, it's probably a good idea, huh? <laughs> All right, here's the post office that um, my dad used to work at years ago when we were living off of uh, College Boulevard and Oceanside here. There it is. Windy day. Might just be biased, but I think this is a really nice post office. Collection times, noon, three. Sorry. Oh, okay, so on to the super secret birthday present. Fun. I used to drive this route uh, every day when I was working at the Carlsbad Mall. Uh, I was living off of Carl, uh, College Boulevard over there. This is Oceanside Boulevard. They put these palm trees in like I don't know, eight years ago or so. And then, and then they did this decorating here because this used to all just be like like that, just really not nice looking. So Oceanside's done a good job to revitalize some of their areas and develop some of their areas. This is be one of the developing areas. This is the location of the super secret birthday present. Um, I think telling that story of Kristen got me all nostalgic, so I'm gonna, I'm actually in the same area as my old high school, so I'm kind of, I'm gonna head over there, I'm not kind of, I'm gonna head over there. I think summer school's in session, so I don't think I can get on campus. Those apartment complexes, there was this guy, uh, Chris Simonetti, who I, who I knew from Little League Baseball, and uh, he and I would go to his apartment, or his parents' apartment, um, 
before practice, and we had our, our baseball field was right, it's right there. So, yeah, you can still see all that stuff. Batting cages and stuff. Whoa, look at that. That's insane. That place has certainly changed. Up over here is the auto shop area, and uh, there used to be this hole in the fence that everyone used to ditch school. Uh, I wonder if they ever took care of that. Probably did. Oh, uh, there it is. Auto shop. Okay, so it just dawned on me that I haven't driven this way uh, in a very, very long time. And I'm going to say since high school because I really have no reason to go back here. And this is a route that I took every day. This is how I used to get to school. I used to come in. Actually, this is how I used to leave school. I never would come in this way. I went on um, Mesa to get to school. What's in front of us, that's, that, that's brand new. That used to just be hills and stuff. This wasn't there. Oh, wow. That's crazy. So now we're on Old Grove Road. It changes names. It's Old Grove and then it changes to Temple Heights later on. So, not much has changed over here, actually. Just sort of the road looks like it's in disrepair. Oh, people running. Anything super fancy, you know, it was my parents' first house that they bought. Um, you know, it, it was just, it, it was one of the first places since we had moved from Oceanside, actually had come back from Las Vegas that we could call home because we were living in that apartment complex on Seacliff Drive or Way, Seacliff Way. Uh, so it was, it was, it was home. Like I, I lived here for, for a number of years. Let's see here, two, four years I think it was before I moved to Santa Barbara. And there was some cool kids that lived on the block that they're younger than us, but they're still this cool kid. Uh, I can't remember his name right now, but anyways. Uh, where that moving van is, some weird people live there. They still do. The White House is Todd the Bod's house right there. And um, this is it. This is the old house right here. Wow, it looks totally different. Let me reverse here real quick. I think my parents made it. I said, wow, they changed the whole backyard. Okay. That's a broken hitch. Okay, so anyways, that's a little trip down memory lane for me. That was a long trip down memory lane, but uh, anyways. Here's the auxiliary post office in Vista. This goes to prove the old adage, if you want something done right, you do it yourself. Because I called uh, the telephone number that they gave me yesterday and um, left a message a couple hours ago and nobody called me back. And I went in, sort of on a whim, talked to the guy and said, hey, uh, how do I set up an appointment? get a passport and he goes oh yeah sign here it's like oh that's easy so I'm gonna go take my passport picture August 3rd 1 o'clock 1300 hours according to the post office they like doing military time 24 o'clock so I'll be getting my passport picture done August 3rd at 1 over there and now I'm going to go to Albertsons because grandma my grandma needs milk and she said she's tired of chicken pot pies, so she wants some uh, sandwich meat. So we're gonna get us some sandwich meat and some milk, and I get some water. So this is kind of like a hip Albertsons and music. Like well, we're playing music. Get the ham, get the deli, milk, water. Time to go. Hear the music. Sadie's our Albertsons. It's been a busy day. It's been a busy couple of days actually. So I'm gonna head to my buddy Nick's place and get a sandwich. I'm thinking, yeah, I'd probably go turkey with American cheese because that way I don't have to worry about provolone making me feel good. So to the to the submarina.